Suburban Cowboy from 2016 and director Ryan Colucci is a factually based drama telling the story of a New York State drug dealer that is forced to take on a large debt of an out of control friend. A debt that is for $150,000 and expected to be paid to a known, no nonsense Serbian drug dealer established in Queens, Manhattan as a barber, no less. One that you don't dare undercut. Jay, played quite mesmerically by Frank Reduce Jr., is a handsome and charming young 30-something guy with a network of associates and seconds to collect upon the drugs and deals he pushes out on the streets from his home base of Long Island, New York. He plays it pretty straight, and treats it like any savvy business entrepreneur with a mid to long term early retirement plan sensibly put in place. Trying not to make enemies and make enough money to set himself up and move on to something more secure. Something his girlfriend Victoria condones as she works herself in the seedy world of adult nightclubs and is fully aware of her own self life in the business. Their life building together is going pretty well, that is, until Jay's lifelong friend since childhood, Alex, betrays him, taking advantage of Jay's friendship and trust, as he uses drug-taking monies for gambling and ends up owing merchandise and money to the Serbian known as Vuk. Alex hides away, leaving Jay to answer for his treachery and Vuk expects full payment of the $150,000 debt paid in just one week where he will seek out his satisfaction upon his own feared reputation as someone not to be messed with and he threatens to first kill Jay's girlfriend Victoria. Jay has to act fast calling upon his closest and trusted circle of friends to work with him to hit the streets and calling debts outstanding and turning every haunt to smoke out Alex at the same time. This is a well crafted drama, a cold, calculating cauldron of criminal crack. Drugs do not discriminate, and in Jay's world, even the land of the free has its price to pay. Calling in the debts and discovering in his time of need just who is truly loyal to him, Jason and Victoria still do not have the resources or enough time to clear the debt. So together they put a plot together to turn over a crippled pusher with a perverse taste in young women and someone who takes pleasure in hurting them as well. Someone who will not be missed. A seedy world well realised by the director Ryan Colucci here in conjunction with the Serbian-Australian DJ and record producer Dragan Raganovic, better perhaps known in the music business as Dirty South. Colucci and Raganovic co-direct Suburban Cowboy together and their collaboration on the whole works really well. The story and backdrop is well constructed and the cast of characters deliver believable characters and bring out a solid portrayal in their roles in this sombre serenade to cinema noir. Suburban Cowboy will not be perhaps to everyone's liking, but those seeking a realistic structure with a sound premise and tautly delivered drama will find this worthy of their time. A solid 5.5 out of 10 watch and a film that throws up some interesting side orders to keep the viewing palette worth sampling. There is, as an example, a neat nuance thrown in that brings out Jay's touched upon love of comic books and werewolf movies from a kid that he grew up with spilling over into moments of on-screen violence in a creative fashion to nicely set the film apart from the usual output of generic drug related films out there. Throw in a good soundtrack and Suburban Cowboy 
saddles up and canters along at a rewarding enough pace, worthy of kicking back your heels with. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Buckaroo Bonsai is pure nutty fun. Okay.